Welcome to Funky Find here at the Pedal Guy, and today what we're going to show you is we're going to show you the Luminary from Walrus Audio. This is a uh, particular favorite of mine. Um, it's a four octave generator um, that can be used for a whole bunch of different solutions. Uh, you can use it as a, as a straight ahead octave pedal for your lower octaves if you want to. So if you want to like do a doubling uh, with your guitar, you can do that and get kind of a bassy tone behind it. Uh, another thing you can do is you can set it up to be kind of a synthesizer sound if you want. Uh, you can create some pretty whacked out sounds here with very little trouble. Uh, so you can get yourself into a whole lot of whole lot of trouble very, very quickly. So uh, let's zoom out here a little bit so I can show you what's going on here under the hood a little bit. So we have your, your generals, you know, in and out, but we also have an expression uh, input here. And the expression input can actually be routed to several different... Uh, parameters uh, by way of the uh, dip switches that are in the back of the unit. So what you actually have to do is take the back plate off and then you have access to the dip switches where you can then uh, assign a uh, assign the end the uh, expression input with an expression pedal of course because you have to make that work. Uh, but you can have it go to uh, the octaves uh, for one for you can have it go to the first two octaves, you can have it go to the second two octaves, you can have it go to the attack you can have it go to the flutter, uh, and you can also have it go to the uh, dry and wet. So you can you can do that quite easily. You just have to open it up and then flip the switch, and it's all in the instructions. So it's pretty straightforward. Another thing that's really cool about this pedal is that it's got a preset button, so you can have one, two, three presets. Uh, so this is extremely handy because nobody wants to bend over and try to manipulate this while you're in the middle of a set, um, unless that's really your thing, and it it kind of speaks for itself. So what we're going to do here is just some real basic stuff. Uh, we're going to just go through the parameters, um, make a little sound out of it, and uh, show you what it's all about. So let's go ahead and just get our guitar tone. All right, there's our handy dandy, our handy dandy strat. Um, okay, and uh, so let's start. First, let's turn it on. Hey, nothing's on. Hey, guess what? Because everything's set to zero. Okay, so... Uh, uh, all kidding aside, uh, first thing we'll do is we'll turn the dry and wet up a little bit. Hey, there's still nothing there. Well, that's because we haven't assigned any uh, octaves yet, silly. So uh, what we'll do is turn up the two octaves down. All right, so now you've got a much different sound going on down there. Okay, um, we can also turn one octave up, or one octave down, I should say. So if I switch to the neck pickup, so this is where you have to start getting a little creative about how the sound is going to come out because the reality is when you take a guitar string and you go two octaves down, you're going to get a lot of artificial uh, fact uh, or artifacts, I should say, down there. So in the higher strings, not much of a problem. But when you get down to the lower strings. It can, it can get a little flabby. So technically, what I like to do is I actually like to turn the two octaves down and just use it with just the one octave down. And another thing you can do is you can also turn on some reverb too. You can get some really cool funky sounds out of it. Um, hence, funky find. Yes, we have a theme. Uh, okay, so moving along, we have the uh, one octave up. And then we have two octaves up. Um, okay, so that's kind of a basic idea of the top row. The bottom row here, you've got the attack. So you can set how, uh, how quickly you want the octave effect to come in. So you can set the attack up to about three o'clock. And if I turn the dry wet all the way up to wet, so it's just the pedal. It's kind of got an, it's kind of got a, an organ sound to it, doesn't it? So you could do some very interesting things with it. Um, and then you also have the, uh, the filter here. 
and this is a cutoff filter. So what this knob is, it's a cutoff knob. So it can create an envelope effect. Um, and that really helps with controlling the upper octaves because if you don't have that, if I turn like say the filter all the way up, all the way down, what I did is I switched to the bridge pickup there. It can help control that just a bit. So uh, it, you get a really cool sound out of it. So if you want it to sound a little more subdued, like you want, you don't want the, the two, one octave up and the two octaves up to kind of be overbearing, you could turn the filter down. Right? Um, and then, uh, finally, you have the flutter. And this is uh, quite simply a, uh, it's a vibrato effect. So let's turn that wet all the way up again, uh, or very close to. Uh, let's have a quick attack and let's keep the filter at about 11 o'clock. So if you wanted, you could use this to create kind of a Leslie effect if you wanted to, uh, if you're doing like that organ sound. Um, so there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this. And of course, this, this works for guitar. You can put a bass into this as well. Um, I would probably, uh, if I was going to use a bass, I probably wouldn't bother using these two knobs here. That's kind of going to get in the way. Uh, but uh, let's show you, let me show you now how to create a preset. So let's say, uh, so what we want to do is we want to scroll to uh, one of the three presets. So again, it's symbolized by the color on the LED. So red is preset one, green is preset two, Blue is preset three, and now there's no preset. So if we go to preset one, okay, and we start making some adjustments, you can see that the red light is blinking. Okay, so let's say we're happy with that. It's simply a matter of just clicking and pressing. And once it goes solid, there you go. Now you've got your preset. So if I go back to uh, let's say I just turn all these around and just make a Okay, so I've got all that now if I just go to preset one, let me play a note So you can switch to the presets quite easily uh, and that of course makes it very easy for you to use the product when you're playing it live uh, the luminary makes uh, is, is really simple to use actually and, and you can create some very cool textures with it so uh, that's what we're going to do now the first preset we're going to do here is we're, our first uh, little experimentation we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go back to that riff i was playing just a second ago and let's uh, create a good doubling effect so what we want to do is we want to turn the one octave down up also turn up the filter okay, you can maybe put a little flutter but you probably won't hear most of it um, and let's keep that attack uh, all the way to the uh, uh, minimum level so it's a very very fast attack because you know funk doesn't work on slow attacks that doesn't work but that works so you can do something very simple like or you know something a little different um, maybe switch up to the neck pickup So in that case, it sounds re very realistic. Um, so if we want to start getting a little more wanky, then we start introducing uh, the other octaves here. Uh, let's switch back down to the uh, bridge pickup. All right. So now we've got something that's a, a little more... Um
That two octaves up needs a little bit of extra control. Oh, actually there's one other thing I should probably show you. So if you want to create like a if you want to create like a 12 string effect, you can do that as well with the uh, with the luminary. So just as we were using the uh, one octave uh, below, also use the one octave up. And at this point, you might want to turn the filter up. All right, so uh, it's a, it's uh, as I said, you could do a lot with this. This this funky find could go on for an hour. Thankfully, it won't. But you could go for an hour with this because that's the kind of stuff you can do with this uh, with this pedal. So let's turn that attack way up. Okay, so at this point now we have... So if we wanted to, we could turn the attack down a little bit. And So that's kind of a poor, uh, poor man's rush uh, impression there. So um, if you know that song, it's uh, we're trying to stick in the 80s or the late 70s here in some of these riffs. Um, so uh, <laughs> call them out if you know them. Anyway, uh, what you might want to do at this point is if, when you turn the attack up to create a slow attack, you might want to even just make it a little more dreamy with, like, say, your reverb. <laughs> Okay, or you could do you know, go a little like. Uh, actually, let's try that again. All right, so that would be a little more on the uh, Madonna side of things. Um, fairly easy to do, you know? You can do some really cool stuff with this. Uh, you could turn on a delay as well. Let's turn that filter up, let's turn that, let's turn that flutter. And if you wanted to put some distortion through it, you can do that as well, although it, it, you have to control it because it does get a little on the loud side. <laughs> So uh, that's a couple of things you can do with it. Um, if you just want to make it kind of synthy like uh, turn turn the dry wet all the way up to wet. So you're just hearing just the luminary. Uh, turn that filter up a little bit. Maybe down. Then uh, maybe turn that reverb down just a little bit too. Play that, and nobody will know you're playing a you're playing a guitar. Uh, but you could even put some distortion through it. <laughs> so.
So those are a couple things you can do. Um, another thing you could do if you want to play like, you know, the cars. Um, so uh, there's a whole bunch of really cool things you can do with it. Uh, and I, I think this is just one of those pedals that just kind of has uh, so many different uses. Uh, you can't really just do it all in, in 11 minutes or 12 minutes or however long we do these uh, these uh, funky finds for. But there's so much versatility under the hood um, that you could create some really cool things with the expression pedal. Um, I think it's really easy just to uh, create a, a, a hot sonic mess in just a couple of minutes, really. Um, and uh, that's what we got. So uh, stick around. Uh, come on back to thepedalguide.com. Follow us on our Facebook page and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Have a great day.